you know, today alone I must have I must have done at least a total of forty hoggy bird reps on this thing. Which is what we have to look at. You see my point? Change my clothes, make myself look a little bit more, you know, ready for the streets. Uh, or perhaps, you know, ready for the house, whatever. Um, we can't judge ourselves off of one small segment that, of what we do. Because God judges all of our deeds, not just one or two. He he looks at okay. Look at Jesus Christ. We can see our reflection. So in looking at our reflection in Jesus Christ, what do we see? The the Bible says if man is hungry if man is thirsty, he's the word, he's the food. Training our deeds, yes, should give us a feeling of accomplishment, a state of accomplishment. Yet there should also be compound things going on. The desire, the hunger for more, the hunger for where this is going to take us next. I'm pressing on the upward way, no heights I'm gaining every day, still praying as Lord, plant my feet on higher ground, Lord, lift me up, Lord, let me stand, my faith on heaven's table land, a higher plane that I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. My brothers and sisters, the hunger in us is the Holy Spirit causing us to want to do more. It's not just our hunger alone. It's God's hunger too. He wants us to go for it and to achieve and to have that friendship, to be a friend of God through it all. It's God's hunger too. It's not just... The Bible says we are to press towards the mark of our high calling. That's the seed. That's the Holy Spirit planting the seed in us. For us to go forth and to do more. Now, what's important is that we glorify Jesus Christ through our testimony. And that our testimony speaks for itself. No matter what departs from this, from our, our lips, people can see God at work in our lives, through, through us. It's the testimony that counts. The question is, is, are our stabilizers, does our heart, does our mind, does our soul and spirit, does our breath, Stabilize on God. People are into focusing, and that's good. God has given us all kinds of human ways of controlling ourselves and and uh, being being attentive and things like this. And and so people say what's on the what's on the very end of what they see. Really, down in the depths, there's a whole lot more to it. It's really our it's really what our stabilizers are centering on. And that controls our focus, that controls what we see, that controls the interpretation of what our eyes see, and how we use that information. That's the internal focal point. 
Uh, some people say, are you on track? Are you off track? Where are we? That's another, uh, that's another uh, mental thought process, humanly, that God has given us to help us understand how we're doing and where we're at. Really, uh, Hallgett thinks in terms of centering on things rather than tracking on things. Now, we all have a track record, yet that can change instantly. The only time I, I, we can't depend on a track record with Jesus Christ because he can change us. And a track record may not mean anything, yet it could. So, how we use information, how we man manipulate and interpret things depends on how our stabilizers are centering on. So, Lord, if there's anyone who is not saved, who wants to accept you, Lord, we pray that they will, that they will accept you into their heart, and that they will be saved, and your perfect will be accomplished in their life, as well as ours. Thank you for Hog Dungeon, Hog Ho Hotel, and those who chose to visit for this time together. In your name, Lord, and for your name's sake, we pray. Jesus Christ. Amen. You, you don't have to understand God. Just accept Him. usually like to do 17 of those and that was seven that was um, 17 at uh, 75 pounds all that doesn't uh, doesn't usually do a lot of those except for the uh, videos it's just sort of residual I've been doing it so long, it's sort of um, second nature just to do that. You know, I love you all. And this Hog Hotel here means a lot to Hog Ed. As you all might, you know, stop in and see what Hog Ed's doing. I want you all to, to be doing well all the time. That's why you should pray with somebody before you talk to them. Because it gets your stabilizers more centered around Jesus Christ and more centered around this individual's problems. God bless you all. Thank you for coming by. Until next time, I'll get a, do a little cemetery work here. <clears throat> Hog still weighs about 